Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. Did you see that fall? <laughs> I couldn't have timed that if I wanted to. Um, I just stuck it up there. This is a wood canvas panel. It's 16 by 20 inches. I like the inch and a half thick ones. So it's, it's a cradled wood panel and cradled means you have this piece, this thickness to it. Isn't that nice? I put a coat of gesso on it. That's so funny that this fell. It's from US Art Supply. I got it for my birthday from my kids. They, they bought a couple of panels for me. Isn't that fun? They got it on Amazon, just in case you wanna check them out yourself. I like them. I painted uh, Curly Sue, the buffalo with hints of purple on the same panel. I'm going to paint a rooster that I've painted twice before. Um, the first time I painted with more color and a palette knife. The second time, oh, and it had chicken wire background or has. The second time I had the chicken wire background, but I kept it pretty neutral and white. And this time I'm gonna paint it black, kind of like we did with the horse, because that was fun. I want to do it again. So I'm gonna paint this black. And then I blew up my nine by 12 inch traceable. Um, I blew it up to fit the height. So there it is, the traceable's on my website. It doesn't quite fit, it's a little short. And actually I like, I'll probably center it, I like that I've got a little more width, width on my canvas panel. Okay, let's have some fun. friends let's stop a second and talk about what I'm thinking so what I let's go to the background because I don't think I've mentioned this yet I painted it in a bunch of different brush stroke directions because the light will catch a little bit of brush strokes I did that with the gesso and then I did it again with the uh, Mars black because the light will catch the brush strokes at different angles here's the Mars black and it just saves me from trying to get everything even, you know, smooth. I just did them all kinds of crazy ways. All right, what else? So now I'm, uh, oh, then I put a little white on so I don't lose my rooster. And this is actually, I added a little raw sienna so that now I can go with some blues. This is Prussian blue and a little bit of white um, and just add a little blue to the background because I want to make, oh, I mean, you could say this might be a barn wall and then maybe some dirt in the barn. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of hint it a little bit. Also, it divides my canvas up if I have this line here. Kind of gives the rooster something to stand on. And I'm, I'm thinking now, so when I paint this, I've got all kinds of lights on in my studio. It looks much darker. When I stand up, it looks more blue like it does, I think, to you guys. Uh, in the video because when I look in my phone it's much more blue so I'm like okay this is gonna be fun <laughs> that's okay I mean I like a challenge but I'm gonna have to turn it and stand up to see the color but I can always come back with the straight-up Prussian blue or even some black no worries yet um here I was gonna take, give you a little tour so it's just like that has quite a bit of paint on I just let the paint run out and I have quite a bit of water just so I don't lose my, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> sorry guys, so I don't lose my rooster. So not a lot going on here yet. Oh, and then I'm gonna, I, I did this to remind me, I can't remember if I did this in the other two rooster videos, but I'm gonna bring his feathers down 
Here, let me show you. Hang on, my head's gonna pop in here. Here's the rooster. I'll link the reference photo. Oh, that's probably bad glare. I'll link the reference photo in this video's description. But I'm going to, let's see if I can find my other photo here. I'm going to maybe add a little more raw sienna to him. And then I like the flex. Kind of like we did with the, it's, I call the painting chicken hearted, but it's the chicken video with the daisies. I didn't do, probably did maybe two months ago. Um, I'm gonna put a little more fun feathers in him. I like that. What else do we need to chat about? Oh, so these are just to remind me a little longer. I think I might have had them shorter than the other two, but I can't remember. And then I'm gonna use my new reusable palette. Um, I've got titanium white. I think I used the end of this too. <laughs> it's pretty close. And then I have Mars Black, which I showed you. Burnt Umber. Um, the Burnt Umber, I think, is just... I could mix some black with the raw sienna and get a, a color close to Burnt Umber. I put it out first, and then I realized I wanted some raw sienna. Um, I think I'm going to use it down here. I might put a little here. I really don't, really don't know. And then here's the raw sienna, which is right here. Sorry, try to get it all on. <laughs> and then Prussian blue. One of the reasons I use Prussian blue, because it's already a muted blue. And then if you just put a thin layer in here, it's going to be muted because I'm painting on black. Um, also because I have another tube in my studio because I don't have much here. So I check to see which blues I have more of. So you can use any blue you like. Or paint this. This is a third time painting this traceable for me. You can, of course, paint this any old way you like. So there's my colors. And then these two um, I use quite a bit. Or actually I use raw sienna in any blue because it hints at compliments. So that's always fun. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, I'll probably toss on either a quinacridone magenta or maybe a cad red medium hue to paint the comb and the wattle. I didn't put that out yet because I didn't think I was going to use it. Oh, and then one thing I discovered is you can let this dry and then just mist it and scrape it up because, like, this is already dry. Um, in case, like, I was getting chunks. I don't know if you were watching the live. I was getting, like, little dried paint chunks, which I didn't like. So once it's dry, just mist it and then you scrape it up with a palette knife real easily. I like that. And then I also discovered, as long as I'm thinking, this has a lid. If you want, uh, just let me know. I can give you the Amazon link. Um, Jack and Emily, my kids, gave this to me for Mother's Day. Isn't that fun? So it has a lid. But it wasn't real tight, so it wasn't keeping the paints um, moist very long. But it fits. I've got too many, too many things on my hands. It fits in a two gallon baggie. So that'll work. I can just miss the paints, miss a little water in the baggie and it makes like a little terrarium. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit.
ones. That last little bit that was time-lapsed was the live. That was on around June 30th. The file date is June 30th. Um, it is August 23rd, so it's almost two months later and I haven't gotten any farther. Um, just been painting little paintings and doing other fun things in the studio. So I've started a new palette, same colors. Um, I The other palette's dried and I haven't cleaned it off yet. So this is a tray from Soho, Soho, um, I think it's uh, Jerry's Artorama and Soho's their brand. So it's a great plastic tray that I'm gonna slip into a two, ga two gallon baggie. So I put out the titanium white, cad yellow, I mixed that green, uh, cad red, medium hue, and Prussian blue. Oh, and burnt umber. And so a little Prussian blue, which is already muted in the cad yellow, makes a pretty green. And I think what I'm gonna do is I, I have not liked the dark background pretty much since I got most of the rooster on there. Uh, the rooster isn't finished. And I think I'm going to make it artier looking. I think I was, I don't know. I'm just in a, it's almost two months later. I'm just in a different mood. The eye is pretty much done. I think the face is pretty much done. I was playing with this during the live, but I, I think I want to make the tail feathers sort of artier, more impressionistic looking. So I'm going to work on the background and add some color and lighten that up a bit. And I want to put in some weeds and seed, po seed pods, which I've wanted to do all along. I think that'll be fun. And then I'll pop in in a bit. Hey friends, I thought I'd stop a minute. So I'm bringing up the values. I'm using um, pretty much this big brush from Low, Low and Cornell. It's a one inch flat. And then I did grab this one for a little bit. It's probably a three quarter inch. It's a craft brush from, oh yeah, it says, I can kind of see it. Three quarter inch craft smart craft brush. And I'm, I'm, I'm happier. I'm liking it better. A lot of times I start out with structure and design. There's not a ton of design other than my, I've got a line here. Um, for a little bit, I forgot that my sun's coming from over this direction. So I had my shadow coming out this way, but I just changed it and pushed it more this way for the shadow underneath the rooster. I think I'm going to bring up this area a little bit more. Leave the shadow. I'll make that a little brighter. Because now I've got a lot of drama and contrast, which I like. Um, I like this is this is looser. I had a lot of neat little fine brush strokes in here, um, but I think the bigger ones are better. And I'm kind of playing with how much how light those tail feathers. When I look in my phone, I see a lot more contrast than I do sitting here. So I might just leave those, or maybe put like little. A um, little bit lighter white, not white, but just a little bit lighter colors up here. I'm not really following a rooster breed so much anymore. I'm just kind of playing. Um, I mix kind of a light pink, muddy pink and a light muddy cream sort of to help with those colors. Um, that's yellow and a little bit of burnt umber. I mixed an orange with the red, a little bit of red and quite a bit of cad yellow. So anyway, it's, it's, I'm liking it better. It's, it's more fun. Um, I don't know what the, um, <laughs> I think, I don't think it's wrong that I was going tight either. 
because you get the structure down and kind of figure out what you want to do from there. And the other thing too is it's been almost two months, so I changed my mind what I want to do. Okay, that's pretty much all the comments I have. I um, if you want to paint looser, I think that's where that almost going. You could use even a bigger brush because it kind of forces you to paint looser. Okay, guys, I'm gonna paint some more, and I'll be back in a bit. Hey, I thought I'd pop in and just talk a little bit about what I'm thinking, what I'm doing. So I brought up the background a little bit up here, um, pretty much just green, a little more yellow greens in some areas, a little darker green, um, and then some browns down in here. Some of the back, the black, I painted this uh, wood panel black. Some of that's still showing through a little bit in places. Um, I thought this got too busy. And I also wanted to lighten it up. So I just put in some horizontal brush strokes and then I came back and put in detail. It's easy to put in too much detail. Um, and too much meaning I just, the focus, I've got a lot of light. So what really helps me is the bright uh, colors from the sun shining. I think next what I'm gonna do, oh, and if you want, you can always put in like black, blue, brown, you know dark areas if you want or need to but I think it's I think it's in pretty good shape oh and I put in some little flex for just like entertainment here we haven't done a tour in quite a while we need to do a tour oh these are just um, folded pieces of paper that I set underneath here so it doesn't stick to the paper towel or to my wood easel just makes it it'll just stick to that paper and it makes it easier I need to paint the bottom a little bit more it makes it easier to uh, fix if you need to. Okay, so tour. Now you can see the little flex in there. And it's like there's a little high, lighter area there. Just a lot of times, sometimes you can make your corners the same color and everything, but a lot of times it looks just a little bit better if they're, like this one's slightly darker. Here, I don't know how long, I mean, this is like two months later, so I don't know. I kind of painted out whatever that is on the rooster and then I put it back in. That happens. This is actually a bigger blob than I wanted, but you know, it's kind of fun. So I left it in there. You could paint it out. So I'm going to back up a little bit. I put just a little bit of orange here and here just for entertainment. I like the bigger brush strokes. And you know, I don't think it's wrong like sometimes I'm like just paint looser right off the bat but really I felt better getting the structure down and kind of painting it tight and now I'm coming back and having much more fun and playing and I, I don't think there's a rooster with these colors at all someone can let me know in the comments let me know in the comments if you like to paint roosters um, I'll link I've got one that I've painted several times well this is um, oh, I forgot this is I've painted this base, this rooster reference maybe three or four times now. Um, I blew up the traceable. See, it's been so long I even forgot. But I, I like that it's tight. Um, here, let's see if I can get it far enough back. You know, the, the tail feathers in the rooster, it's just a white rooster. The tail feathers are close to the head, so this is a nice shape. I like that a lot. It has fun feet. Sometimes I get too busy and I'll just come back and smooth it out. And then you definitely want to keep, well, you don't have to, but a lot of times keep your corners more simple and just paint in a few grasses. 
there's the feet. So, what I think I'm gonna do now, hang on, my head's gonna, oops, sorry, just bumped my camera. My head's gonna go in front of the camera here. Whoops, and I just, I don't know if you remember this painting. Oh, I need to flatten it. Really pretty, really great reference photo. I'll link this, uh, this video in this video's description. But I'm gonna paint some of these seed pot things. Um, I think they're really fun. I'll have some coming over. I'll probably have one coming over the rooster, one or two. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking next, and then I might be done. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, I don't. I think it's a good thing that it's taken me almost two months to come back to it, because you just have a whole new perspective. Um, I think that taught me a good lesson. I know to step away from it and wait a couple days, but usually I'm like, go, 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 next video, next painting. You know what's going to go to sell at the gallery, all that kind of stuff. So I think this was really a great lesson for me, and I hope it's a helpful tip for you guys. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I'm done. Well, this turned out fun and interesting. <laughs> I really like the drama. I've really got soft edges, um, even lost edges, because I actually the rooster comes out here, but it almost could looks like it could be there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'll we'll do another tour. I like the seed pods because then it makes a little bit more sense with the... It's almost like splattering a painting, but instead I just put marks on it, which is fun. You know, I've even got, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a... I thought it'd be brighter, but it dried darker. There's a little light green mark in there. So that's all really fun. I keep going back and forth between... I think I added a few more horizontal strokes to try and calm this down a little bit because I've got a lot... A lot of busyness but one thing that totally works is when you have strong highlights to keep you right where you want the eye to go in the painting and then the the design is really simple this isn't a third but my horizon lines about there okay what else do we need to talk about let me know any questions you might have uh, in the comments the comments are super fun I love connecting with all of you let's see let's do a tour so I think we've done here, probably this part changed the most. I really like these wood panels, they're more expensive. Um, I'm sure I mentioned at the beginning of this video, but this is a 16 by 20 inch wood panel from US Art Supply. Oh, I found them on Amazon and they also have a website. I love the little bits of light blue I put down in here. It, I just like that it ties in a little bit with the rooster. Here, we'll back up a little bit. And I put some darker blue, um, just blobs really, but it helps make the, the long skinny feathers that are coming down come off the rooster a little bit more. And I kept the weeds pretty soft. Here, you probably wanna see weeds. <laughs> They're just some square brush strokes, sometimes some lines. I just turn the, where's my brush? So you just turn the, the brush on the skinny side to make some of the stems and then flat side to make some of the strokes. That's one thing nice about the lives or the, the little paintings I do. You can see better what I've done. Oh yeah, that's just a square brush stroke. And it changes, you know, when I get it close, it's more green. I'll go out, I'll take it outside and get a photograph. And that'll look different too. But I'll, I'll put that at the end. Or it, I'll stick it right before this end here. 
All right, well, hopefully that helps you see. I don't know if I kind of skipped over some of the weeds. I just have one going over a toe, but I think I showed you that one already. Okay, guys, super appreciate your support. I've been getting super thanks. People send money through PayPal. I can't thank you enough. It pays for the paint and the supplies. Um, helps pay for the time to make the videos. I, I just can't thank you all no, enough. Hope you enjoy this one. We've painted this traceable a few times, so that's really fun to, to do it different ways. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.